right, good morning, everybody. I haven't brushed my hair yet. It's really bad. Um, but this morning, August 11th, 2018, I was supposed to be setting sail on a grand opening mission of Chemical Guys. Woo-hoo. One tiny problem. I, um... Uh, I'm going to have stuff done to my car instead today. I know it's pretty sad for some of you who watched the video of Chemical Guys opening and was like, sweet, I can't wait to watch you drive down there. I could not have waited myself. I was excited. I was ready to just go down there and just be like, hey, I'm here and, you know, buy some chemicals from Chemical Guys. I don't think I have a bottle, but for those who don't know who Chemical Guys is as yet, um, they do detailing products, full stop. Uh, And they have stuff called a garage. And in the garage, they detail cars. Um, I've always wanted to ask them online, hey, um, how much do you charge to detail a car? Oh, these guys think I want to race. I don't. I don't street race, guys. Don't do it. I don't street race. No, never, never, never do it. <laughs> um, and see how much it would cost for, for my car to get that. Because my car looks it's look really great until you get really close and you start to see these lines <laughs> going in one direction and it kind of curves a little bit and I'm not fully blaming them I will take the blame because I'll tell you why in a little bit but I went to the Ford dealership from I got the car um, and now we're at 65,000 miles and so every time I went to the dealership oil change or anything they would wash my car And if my car was clean, they would wash my car. I'm starting to wonder what's going on. So I eventually said to my service guy, Milton at the time, hey, can you guys stop washing my car? I detail my own car. I really would appreciate it. And it would save me time getting in and out. Um, He said, sure, no problem. So I have uh, an app on my phone and then a device in my car where I can see where my car is, when my car starts. Um, if there's disturbance, I don't know that stuff. And so the um, the guys washing my car decided, or the guys washing cars decided they were going to wash my car. Freaked me out when I stepped outside. Um, I don't know about you guys, but if you, I'm looking at the red light, so I can't really look at the phone. But if you guys um, ever went to like a car wash place, and there's people surrounding your car with these brooms, basically. Um, it's disgusting. It's terrifying. It makes you want to, you know. I'm not blaming them 100%, but there's a lot of lines going in one direction. I've never, since I got this car 26,000 miles, I've never put um, one of those brush on my car I have never done that because I had a Ford 500 I did that and those same I call them stretch marks but those same marks are paired on my Ford 500 which was gold you you couldn't see it as much as this car so uh, another time um, on the rear right panel uh, you guys may have remembered the video of me doing the dry what do they call it waterless waterless wax all right let me um, do something really quick and I accidentally used a brand new rag and didn't even soak the thing totally but swirl marks there <laughs> I got the swirl marks off but it totally was embarrassing so I'll see you guys on the flip side I gotta go Uh, Have a great day. Sorry about chemical guys, me not going there. Um, But when things pop up, you got to weigh out the pros and cons. Catch you guys on the flip side.